So this is not only for shipping, but this is going to be cool when you're done using your keyboard. You're just going to pop that on there to uh, protect from dust and dirt. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Got an unboxing here of the Techware Phantom RGB backlit mechanical keyboard. This happens to be the 10 keyless version with the brown switches. Uh, of course, brown, if you do not know, they offer the tactile bump without the noise of the blues. So real quick on the back here, you're going to see that it has SMD LEDs, has modular mechanical switches. You can pop out each one of these switches, change them out to whatever you want. I really love that the keycaps are double shot ABS. I'll get into more detail on that in a second. I'm not sure what NKRO is, uh, but this does have a gold plated USB connector. So the back plate is actually completely metal alloy with overall plastic construction, but that metal is going to keep it very, very sturdy and stable, nice and strong. 8710 keyless, has a lot of different LED modes. I'll show you a couple in just a second. And then you do have software for, uh, for Windows for sure. And then you just go to their website to download their software. All right, let's go and unbox this thing. I did cut open these two pieces of tape right now, so let's go ahead and pop this open. Ooh, all right. Okay, so should be able to pull this out. Yes, there it is. Quick little manual. Shows you some of the uh, combination key switches and things like that. Uh, this is going to be more of your function buttons and then how to change your lighting. Uh, it does come with a uh, keycap puller, a switch puller, and then four spare mechanical switches, which is really cool. All right. Oh, this. Okay, so there's your cable. It is braided, by the way. And here is the four extra switches. Again, these are brown switches. And then it does have the switch puller, which is that metal piece there. Tuck those away for now. And so we can get rid of this box. Okay, here is the keyboard itself. Ooh, nice. It actually comes with a little cover. Nice. So this is not only for shipping, but this is going to be cool when you're done using your keyboard. You're just going to pop that on there to uh, protect from dust and dirt and grime. Here's the keyboard itself. As you can see here, it is uh, 10 keyless. There's no 10 key pad there. You do have a bunch of different media controls. Here's your volume controls here. And then this is, I'm guessing, for your lighting up and down and different cycling options there. Turn your RGB on and off and uh, change direction. It's got a really nice attractive font as well. It's not too like gamer focused, but it's not too plain as well. I think it's really attractive. All right, uh, of course this is USB. I'll take this off real quick. Yeah, this is tough. Gold plated, uh, pretty standard stuff. Not that it really makes a difference, but it is what it is. Let's flip this around. It's got some interesting stuff here. So as you can see here, this is where the cable comes out of. It is not detachable, unfortunately, but uh, it is, like I said, it is braided and then there is some different routing options. So you can have it just like this straight down the center, or you can actually route it towards the left or right side, depending on your desk setup. I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine right in the center. You do get a switch puller. If I can get this out, I'll need to take this out, okay. Show you how that works real quick. So you just get any key, pop it on, pull straight out and your key comes off. So here is what's called a double shot ABS plastic keycap. So you can see here that only this part and then the inner area has that white color to it. And that's basically a translucent type of plastic that's uh, going to let the LED shine through. So the LED comes from the switch itself straight up through here and that's what illuminates that key in this case it would be the f5 so the double shot is actually the remaining portion of the keycap is actually completely black plastic 
So as you're using this, you're scratching the buttons up, wearing them down. This area will not wear down. That is painted on, by the way, all these little white uh, media keys. That will wipe off eventually, but the keycap itself, black plastic, that won't come off, which is really cool. That's what you want, especially if you're going to be keeping your keyboard for a very long time. So let's go and put this back on just like that. Let's go do a couple key presses for you guys. Spacebar is pretty sturdy. Sometimes you get a keyboard and uh, the spacebar is like a really loose, wobbly spacebar. This one's not the case. Really nice and uh, yeah, not really wobble there. And then I'm not sure if you heard that earlier, but this uh, the keyboard does resonate a little bit. All right, so that's uh, that's pretty much the keyboard. Let's go ahead and um, plug it in. Let me turn down the lights so you can see some of the uh, the LED effects. And there's a little bit better image of how the lights look. So as you can see there, this is as bright as it goes. Of course, uh, typical with a keyboard like this, there is a little bit of light bleed around the keycap itself. Um, you can also turn it down here, so how many steps there are. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 is completely off. You get those blinking lights knowing that you've reached the end of that lighting. Same thing with the upper end as well. So there's some, uh, it's fluctuating through some of the different colors, which is really attractive as well. Um, let's see here. So you can change the speed, so that's uh, completely fast, and you can also slow it down to where it's really almost not noticeable of a change, but it is changing. So this is a nice little uh, kind of radiant effect after whatever key you push, kind of radiate outward from that key. Really cool effect there. M3, this is just like a whoa freaking seizure causing type of lighting effect. Uh, so that's as fast as it goes and you can also go completely slower as well. Nice little Christmas, uh, Christmas effect for you guys. Uh, this is just a wave pattern going left to right. You can also change the direction, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. Pretty cool. This is just kind of a completely just changing colors on each of the keycaps. So it looks like you can change it from fluctuating to not. And then there's this one here, which just kind of fluctuates left to right and back again. Kind of like a little wave design. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right, so that's the LEDs for you guys. All right, guys, that was my unboxing and quick first impressions of this Techware Phantom keyboard. Again, mechanical brown switches made for gaming would be great for a general office use and work and whatnot and uh, content creation. But hope you guys liked it. Like, comment as usual and subscribe if you're not already. I will see you guys on the next video.